In a recent technique, I demonstrated simple applique, where a specialty fabric is placed on top of the embroidered item. Today, we'll turn that idea upside down and place our specialty fabric underneath the embroidered item in a technique called reverse applique. My project involves two heart designs done in reverse applique. I'll start with two squares of my specialty fabric, each cut large enough to cover the corresponding heart design. I've cut out actual size printouts of each design. I'll tape them over the applique fabric, and this serves two purposes. First, it verifies that the fabric swatches are large enough for each design. Secondly, it prevents the adhesive I'll be using from completely covering the fabric. I'm planning ahead here, so that when I reach the cutting stage, I can easily cut one layer of fabric without accidentally cutting the lower layer. I'll use a spray adhesive which creates a tacky surface, and I'm spraying the adhesive onto the top side of the fabric. Afterward, I can clean overspray from the work area with an adhesive cleaner. I've chosen a denim jacket for this project, and my applique fabric is also denim, so as to preserve the original weight of the jacket and not create holes. I've marked the placement for my reverse applique on the outside of the jacket. For instructions on marking placements, see the placement marking technique on embroider.com. Since my applique fabric is going to be placed on the underside of the jacket, I'll use a pin and a placement dot for each design, marking the placement on the underside of the jacket as well. With placement marked, I can press the tacky applique fabric into place. Next, I'll hoop my denim jacket for the embroidery. I'm using my design printout to help me hoop the jacket at a slant because I want to embroider this design at an angle. The crosshairs on the printout help me to keep perspective as I do so. Once hooped, we're ready to embroider. The stitching here is very simple. The machine outlines the heart design twice, and then I'm ready to cut my reverse applique. Before I begin cutting, though, I'll check the underside of the embroidery to make sure that my applique fabric was sewn through all the way around the heart. With scissors, I pierce only the top layer of denim and cut within the stitching, leaving a margin. After laundering, the denim frays, leaving a fun fringe border. It's a great alternative look for this Valentine denim jacket.